Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. And today I have something really no nonsense to share with you. Uh, recently I watched a video of Joe Rogan working out with Action Bronson. And he said something that really stuck with me. I'm sure all of you know Joe Rogan is one of the most well-known podcasters out there. I think he might be the person who was the first one who may have pioneered the podcasting and uh, he is well known. So in the video, he Joe Rogan is working out with Action Bronson and uh, Joe says that, and I quote, it's all about the path. Once you're on the path, staying in the path, that's where the real momentum starts. The hardest part is getting on the path. The first steps just getting out the door, trying, tying your shoes. But once you do that, you're on your way. And that's so true. It's not easy, especially at the beginning. But once you start moving, even on those tough days, it gets a little easier. You start feeling stronger. So Joe Rogan basically is doing a workout which looks, looks very tough. It's a very nice gym. Uh, I think it is Joe Rogan's own gym. And Action Bronson is uh, his mate, I think, who is quite big and large and unfit. And he's struggling, you can hear. But Joe Rogan is doing just the right thing. He's not pushing him on crazy. But at the same time, he wasn't sugarcoating anything. So Joe's approach is, is about pushing past your limits mentally and physically. But he gives you the value of being on the path how to just stay on the path he says and i quote you get three good workouts in and by the fourth day you feel good it's like you are never out of shape you build a habit six months later you are looking in the mirror and thinking damn i look good and that's the magic of staying consistent it's about pushing through those early struggles and letting the process work see how he mentions that you know there is early struggles he is not saying that uh, just get up doesn't matter how tired you are and uh, just it's not that complete no nonsense now joe rogan is not a motivational talker like tony robbins uh, his focus is not to inspire people his focus is not to give motivational talk but his words are very powerful very powerful to actually be doing a workout being sweaty uh, i really urge you to actually go watch the video i'll put that link in the description and yet talk that with that clarity with such articulation with such uh, good examples was amazing every single word was resonating to what i believe in a practice everything is about being on that path, that staying in the journey, doesn't matter how slow it is, because at some point, you will uh, gain momentum. And once the momentum builds with every workout, you know, in a few months time, it just uh, shows its worth. And this is uh, applicable to many things, not just workouts and gym motivation. Whatever your thing might be, if it is learning a, an instrument like guitar it will be difficult different and seemingly uncomfortable in the beginning but you just start with a smallest step possible and you stay on the path build on it build on it build on it now joe rogan himself is is a very uh, good example of exactly that it's not that he hasn't done he hasn't done it he has done it in many ways not just physical fitness he is, i have seen some of his really old podcasts where it is really bad it's really shit really but he stayed on to it and i think now he he has done like 1700 podcasts only because he stayed on it and he stayed on the path and he has the belief and more you do it more belief you get and 
he's done the same thing with comedy as well i believe i don't really watch much of his comedy stuff but uh, he does commentary for ufc so he's really created a life basically based on that philosophy it is not just that he just speaks about it philosophizes and just doesn't do he actually does stuff he has done it he still continues to pump out three i think three or at least two podcast in a week which is a lot of work so i really think that uh, when i had when i was just about to start my workout my bench press workout luckily i just came across that video uh, i was just being a little bit you know lethargic or i suppose not so motivated i was going to go to gym for sure but somehow i watched the video an hour before and it just gave me such profound lesson in simplest of word words now when it comes to to being motivated i don't need much of it that's what i believe because i have been doing fitness and gym and lifting from very long time i know that very well but i identified that i do have those kind of days maybe a week where i will be lazy and i will find no motivation where i will lack in that energy and when i watched that video before my workout i was in that kind of space i was having that kind of energy now while what it does it helps me understand that i could have those days but when i have those days and moments i just need a reminder reminder like the voice of joe rogan in that video in the gym with action bronson i think a pretty cool name action bronson so what happens is that when that same energy engulfs me or the same lack of motivation is there in me i could do a bit better and what i mean by that for example so for this workout if i had not watched his video and was not sparked off with intensity in my motivation i would have come and done a workout let's say that that workout was 50% in intensity and focus but because i listened to his video my intensity rose from 50 to let's say 70 it is guaranteed that i will have those kind of day or days again all what matters is in the next time i will be better equipped to look back and see if there is a way is there any stimulus i can provide to myself to raise the intensity for that day from 50 to just 60 it is those small steps that counts because eventually if you keep taking steps you are on the path that's all simple thing Joe Rogan is saying stay on the path if you can't go to gym 5 days a week go 2 days a week you are still on the path it doesn't matter how big and huge your efforts are especially in the beginning i think it matters lot less i think it's a pitfall to take big giant steps in the beginning i'll give an example which i've given to many of my clients let's say that you are you know taking stairs going to a building which is 10 floors and you have to take stairs and you are full of energy and you start taking big big steps and somebody who is with you who is not so enthusiastic you might call him lazy and slow he is just taking one step at a time very soon the person who is taking big giant leap steps will be tired and will have to stop i suppose the story is let's say similar to the what's the story with tortoise and and uh, the rabbit but it is so true that being slow and being very small and careful in your steps is the perhaps the only thing you need to do to stay on the path if you go too fast you can have accidents <laughs> of all kinds anyway guys i i really enjoyed this workout uh the day was pretty nice and bright mm, i don't know why i was not feeling up to it maybe it's my shift work i pumped out really good sets of 105 kgs then 90 kgs 
And as you can see, it was a live video. Some of my workmates were giving me some really good, funny comments. So I enjoyed that. But more than that, I was really inspired to share this talk with you of Joe Rogan training with Action Bronson of staying on your path. So the message in this video is, is guys, in whatever way, just stay on your path. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.